Hi everyone, I am Dr. Diana Songsong and I will discuss with you today arithmetic sequence. Okay, so let us now proceed. Okay, so the first thing that we have to understand is the meaning of an arithmetic sequence. Ano nga ba ang arithmetic sequence? So we have here the definition. It says here that it is a sequence in which there is a common difference between consecutive terms. Now, take note that paano ba natin inahanap yung common difference? It is always the difference between any term and the term that precedes the term. Or, in other words, lagi nyo lang gawin, yung magkasunod na term, you always do right minus left. So, an, a simple example of an arithmetic sequence would be 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, and so on. Now, in this case, what will be our common difference? Anong gagawin natin? Kukunin natin yung magkasunod na term. Okay, so for example, 3, 8. Siya yung magkasunod. So what will you do? Right minus left. So what is that? 8 minus 3 is 5. Correct? So, when you subtract 8 from 3, you get 5, right? 13, lagyan ko siya ng arrow, okay? 13 minus 8, you get 5, right? 18 minus 13, you get 5. Understand? Or meaning to say, kung pag ganito naman tayong direction, ano lang ang nangyayari? Ang ibig sabihin natin ng arithmetic sequence is, merong number na lagi nating ina-add. No? So in this case, ano nga yung number na yon Yung ating common difference, which in this case is equal to 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18, 18 plus 5 is 23, 23 plus 5 is 28. So, given that, ano ngayon yung next term natin? So, it's 28 plus 5. So, our next term would be 33. Understand? So, yun yung um, quick definition and simple definition of an arithmetic sequence. So, again, meron kang number na lagi mong ina-add, same number ha, to get the next term. Okay? Okay, so, to determine if you were able to understand the definition of an arithmetic sequence, let us look at this. Is this an arithmetic sequence? So, remember na if you have an arithmetic sequence, meron kang common difference. And that common difference can be solved by getting right minus left. So, for example, dito, itong dalawang to. So, yung nasa right, laging yung nasa right class ha. So, negative 1 minus negative 3, that is 2. Right? Next, negative 1 and 1. So, 1 minus negative 1 is 2 also. Right? And then, anong ibig sabihin ng mga yan? So, from negative 3 to negative 1, you add 2. You add and obviously, from 1 to 3, you add 2, and so on. So, correct. This is really an arithmetic sequence with common difference equal to 2. So, meaning to say, you always add 2 to get the next term. Now, one thing that I want to mention also about arithmetic sequence is that kapag yung number na i is we always add a positive number. What happens to the, uh, to the numbers? It increases, right? So, what if we have something like this? We have um, 8, 5, 2, negative 1. Now, in this case, hindi natadagdagan yung mga numbers natin. Anong nangyayari? As we progress, nababawasan siya. So, from 8, to 5, anong nangyari? Nag-subtract ka ng 3, no? 
And then here, you subtract 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Now, what is the next term? Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So, remember, for arithmetic sequence, it's either nag add ka or nag -so subtract ka. But the same number. So, obviously, if you keep on adding a number, the numbers increases. The numbers increase, whereas kapag nagsosubtract ka naman, of course, the numbers will decrease. Let's look at another example. Is this arithmetic? So, hindi ko nagagawin class yung right minus left, okay? Tidiretsyo na tayo. So, 84 minus 80, anong nangyari? Minus 4, no? 80 to 74, anong nangyari? Nabawasan ng 6. Actually, pwede na tayong huminto doon eh. Tama? Pero anyway, I will just continue. 74 until 66, nabawasan ng 8. So, minus 8. So, this means that this is not an arithmetic sequence. Kasi, hindi pare-parehas yung number na nasosubtract. Is that clear? Next. This one, is this an arithmetic sequence? Negative 8 naging 6. Kung hindi nyo maisip anong nangyari, what will you do? You always proceed with your right minus left. So that's 6 minus negative 8. So that's 14. So ibig sabihin, from negative 8, when you add 14, you get 6. Okay? Now, question, tingnan ngayon natin, yun bang 6 plus 14, it's not equal to negative 4, no? Dapat maging, kung 6 plus 14, that is 20. So, therefore, the answer is no. Not an arithmetic sequence. Okay? Next. 50, negative 50, negative 44. So, negative numbers to. So, kung again, hindi nyo maisip from the top of your head, do right minus left. So, from the first pair, negative 44 minus negative 50. So, when you subtract, it becomes 6. Right? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? From negative 50, you add 6 is negative 44. So, let's try now. Is negative 44 plus 6, is that equal to um, negative 38? Yes, no? So, as you can see, negative 38 plus 6 is negative 32. And so on. So, therefore, yes, this is an arithmetic sequence with common difference equal to 6. So, as you can see, since yung common difference natin is positive, palaki ng palaki yung mga numbers natin. Okay. So, suppose we want to get the 100th term of a sequence. So, ang hirap naman kung mag add ka ng 100 times, di ba? Or mag subtract ka ng 100 times. So, we will be using this formula. This is the formula to get the nth term. Anong sinasabi niya? If you want to get the nth term, magbibigay ako ng example. Kunyari, a sub 100. Anong sabi niya? It's equal to a sub 1. Ano yung a sub 1 natin? That is the first term. So, yung, yung mga representation natin, a sub 1 is the first term. a sub 2 is the second term. Okay? a sub 3 is the third term and so on. Alright? Yung subscript niya, that small number, represents kung pang ilang term siya. Okay, anyway, continuing with a sub 100, it's a sub 1 plus, <coughs> excuse me, sabi niya dito kung ano yung n, you subtract 1, minus 1 lagi. So, in this case, this is 100, so 99 times d, and d is your common difference. So, for example, we have 
this sequence 79 75 71 67 and 63 and then we want to find a sub 32 meaning to say we want to find the 30 second term sulat muna natin yung formula natin uli para makapisado nyo a sub n is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d now in this case what are we looking for a sub 32 so, therefore, a sub 32 is a sub 1 plus 32 minus 1, right? So, magiging 31 na lang times d. What do we need? We need to get our a sub 1. a sub 1 is our first term. That is simply 79. And what is your d? What is your common difference? Anong nangyayari, class, as you progress with your sequence? It gets subtracted by 4. Correct? So, D is negative 4. So, be careful lah. Baka ang maging sagot nyo, 79 minus 75. So, 4 yung makuha nyo. So, dapat makita nyo agad that the numbers here are decreasing, indicating that your common difference must be negative. Alright? So, we can now plug plug in the value. So, a sub 1 is 79 plus 31 times negative 4. So, that's 79 plus 4, 124. That's a uh, negative. Correct? Oops. Okay. So, 79 plus negative 124 is negative ano yun, 45. Alright? So, that's your A sub 32. Okay, so you may try this. You may pause your video and answer this one. You're given A sub 1 is 5, D is 4, and N is 11. Find A sub N. Pero since A n is 11, we are looking for a sub 11. Right? Again, let's write the formula for a sub n para makapisado nyo. So, since our n is 11, a sub 11 is a sub 1 plus 11 minus 1, which is 10, and then times d. And then, we just have to plug in the values. a sub 1 is 5, and then d is 4. So, remember, PEMDAS, ha, multiplication comes first before addition. So, the answer is 45. Alright, next, we have an arithmetic sequence here which involves fractions. Now, remember that for arithmetic sequence, ang important nyo lagi is your a sub 1 and d. Kasi yung nth term nyo nakadepend on. Wait, sino pala yung pinapahanap natin? Si a sub 18. Your a sub 1 is 10 fourths. Then, we have to get your d. Kung kaya nyo makita directly from 10 fourths naging 9 fourths, anong nangyari class? Nabawasan, di ba? Nabawasan by what? It's... 1 fourth. Correct? So, your D is negative 1 fourth. So, kung hindi obvious sa inyo na nabawasan ng 1 fourth, again, you can always resort to your right minus left. No? Yung right minus left mo is 9 fourths minus 10 fourths. You already have the same fraction at uh, the same denominator na 4. So, you just have to copy, di ba? And then, subtract the numerators. 9 minus 10 is negative 1. See? Okay? So, actually, when you continue that, ganun pa rin, makikita mo na that D is really equal to negative 1 fourth. So, for example, para lang makita nyo, yung 9 fourths minus 1 fourth, is that equal to 2? So, tingnan nga natin, 9 fourths minus 1 fourth, 4, 9 minus 1 is 8, which is 2. Tama? And so on. So, anyway, the point is that your D is equal to negative 1 fourth. So, now we are ready to find A sub 18. Okay. 
So, A sub 18 is equal to A1 plus, anong number ang ilalagay ko dito? 18 minus 1, 17 times D. My A sub 1 is 10 fourths. Actually, can we just write 5 halves? But anyway, sige. 10 fourths na lang. Parehas lang naman. 17 times D, which is negative 1 fourth. Actually, better pala. Para common denominator na na 4. So, remember, you have to multiply muna because multiplication comes first. So, this is negative 17 over 4. Tama? Because the denominator is 1. Oh, what is that? Same denominator na na 4. 10 plus negative 16, uh, I mean 10 plus negative 17 is negative 6. Negative 6 fourths or negative 3 halves. So that's the answer. Okay? Okay, for our last example, we're given 79, 75, and so on. What term number is negative 169. So, meaning to say, tinatanong niya pang ilang numbers, pang ilang terms, si negative 169. Okay. So, gusto nating mahanap yung N ni negative 169. Okay? We want to know kung pang ilang term siya. Now, we write down the formula for A sub N. A sub N, di ba, is A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Pinalitan ko lang yung A sub N. Okay? And then our A1, our first term is 79. I still have, we don't know what N is. And then what is our D class? Our D is minus 4. Correct? Yan. So, that's negative 169. And then, we will now solve this linear equation. So, 79 plus, I will distribute negative 4. So, that's negative 4n plus 4. 79 plus 4 here is 83. I will just write it here. 83 minus 4n is negative 169. And then since we're solving for n, I will subtract 83 on both sides. Tama? Para mawala siya dyan. So that means we have negative 4n is equal to negative 169 minus 83. So that's 12, 15, negative 252. And since we're solving for n, we divide both sides by negative 4 to eliminate negative 4. Okay? So, n is, so this is positive. What is 252 divided by 4? So, that's 6, 24, 12, 63. There you go. N is 63. So, therefore, that means that what, negative 169 is the 63rd term. Alright? You can write negative 169 is A sub 63. Alright? Okay, so if you learned from this video, check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. You can also share this video and like it. See you guys!